from the two-headed monstrosity that brought you the critically acclaimed Sunlust comes a map set carved out in the flesh of the unwilling and delivered to you in a human skin handbag. Smoking hard inside a bar. I'm drinking like a fish. That's the wad description because screw you. No difficulty settings. Mandatory platforming. Inescapable pits. This, th this is good, right? This is cool? Okay, just checking. 2016 was a tough year for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. To have this map set birthed to the world on January 1st of that year is the epitome of stepping on a Lego brick covered in rock salt while your testicles are being twisted off by an amorous gorilla. Monkey ouchie. A lament configuration of doom mapping awaits. 20 levels of grindy devilry sink further into a quagmire of exquisite agony with the passing of each map. If you can even get past the first one, the reviews are in. Dark Outsider from the Globe, amazing. Zaliwa at the Times, fit only for Pinhead. And Doom Kid from the Herald Sun, uh, it's good, duh. Embodying the spirit of the Death Stalker movies, Italo Doom raises a middle finger to plot and smothers you pleasurably with non-stop action, outrageous visuals, and wall-to-wall -wall midriffs and ambiguous breasts. Metaphorically speaking, featuring the hottest of hot starts, Archies and a cyber in your face, hoo boy, that's a wake-up call. A banging soundtrack sporting some of Sega's juiciest joints, questionable pop tunes, and Ribbix originals. Mmm, music to die to. The sort of slaughter that would make insane gazebo go, Whoa, hey, come on now, chill out, Jesus, what's wrong with you? I I'm about to head out. A metric plutonia's worth of arch files. Yeah, flames of love. No kidding. An overall gameplay difficulty that makes Sunlust look like baby's first Doom Wad. Oh, a couple of spicy aliens. <laughs> How quaint. Ha ha he ho ho. So cute. Bless. A roster of map names sourced from Italo disco music because <laughs> these, these two guys like a good chuckle. Andante Avanti Circatelli. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Seriously, it's unironically good music, I promise. I wouldn't lie, not at a time like this. Starring an accurate video game simulation of trying to get the Turbo Man action figure in Jingle All the Way. <sighs> the world's an empty place without Phil Hartman. Rest in peace, King. A map seven whose platforming nastiness will test even the most patient Doom players. Obligatory strafing all over the place. Wall running. And oh no, you've fallen off again. It's okay, walk it off in the toxic Pepsi. Breathe through it, pal, no worries. Oh, you've fallen off again. Big trouble in Little Tomato Town. Damn, Doom Guy's gonna be soaked in caco blood at the end of that. I'm afraid I just blew myself. <laughs> A glowing neon arrow big and obvious enough to make Sandy Peterson green with envy. Seven minutes in heaven. Cyber Demon Edition. Fumble around in the dark as capably as you can without exploding. And then comes the rest of the map. And a finale that culminates in a morass of green fire. Rockets. Hell magic. And enough skeletons to pack out a Hollywood producer's closet. Italo Doom. Making 2016 just that little bit hotter. Coming Doom. <laughs>